Hello and welcome to this recap of today's CodeBuddies.org live coding session. CodeBuddies is a global community of amazing people who help each other become better at software development through conversations on Slack and peer-to-peer -peer organized study groups and virtual hangouts. Today we've had an interesting time learning how to import data into a Wagtail CMS project. Uh, this has sort of spanned <laughs> several layers of the of the uh, stack here. Uh, we started with some, some raw data uh, in CSV format from uh, Drupal website, and I won't show you the Drupal side of things during this um, uh, session, just to note that uh, I was able to export it. Uh, you can export using various modules in Drupal 7 or 8 uh, to either CSV or JSON. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of its own world there, but we took the CSV and defined a custom uh, management command in Django that relies on Python's um, sort of arg parser library and uh, uh, command line parsing library, and then had to work our way back up into Wagtail and create page instances that were then um, sort of attached to the page hierarchy. So needless to say, um, was reading lots of Stack Overflow and you know, documentation, uh, and the Wagtail side of things actually was unfortunately not very well documented. Uh, there's been long-standing requests uh, going back to 2015 about documenting the import procedures uh, for Wagtail page content. Um, there, I f there were some GitHub repos that had various degrees of working code following various uh, practices. I don't know if they're best. It didn't seem like they were the recommended way until late in the uh, session I was able to uh, put everything together. So let's take a look. Uh, at the end of the result is essentially that we have our data for one of our content types in Wagtail. You can see it in the Wagtail UI here. Uh, we're starting on the magazine issues because that's this Western Friend project is a, an online magazine first and foremost and it's a community around that. So our minimum viable <laughs> project will be to import all the old data, but particularly of particular importance is this magazine. So just starting there is a natural way uh, to learn the ropes. So our magazine issue, uh, basically the model consists of magazine issues and magazine articles, and those are linked together by a foreign key from the article. So just starting with issue today, didn't get to the article part. The magazine issue imports from the Wagtail page, so uh, it gets many different fields and methods, including a title field. Uh, in, in addition, we've defined cover image field, um, which stores a wag an image, it's a Wagtail image, publication date, and issue number. Now, I will admit I'm deferring uh, importing the images until I had you know my feet up on more solid ground, but I do now uh, fortuitously have a small recipe to follow. I'll show you that in the commented code and the next live coding session we might be able to give that a shot. So just notice we've got cover image that we're uh, ignoring actually, sorry. Publication date and issue number as well as the title field coming from the Wagtail page model. So our CSV um, is ready, ready to go. No um, transform step, we just extract, load basically trying to do minimal uh, transformation in between. That might not be the case for every content type. So three columns. And our custom command looks like this. Um, I'm gonna go to full screen with the code real quick. And I can, I suppose, well, I'll show you how it works, although it might be a little bit, uh, I'll import duplicate code if I run it. But essentially we're using the Python CSV library and we're adding Django management commands. And the way the code is invoked, uh, the interface is you know, Python manage pi, which is the Django management command, uh, like utility belt. <laughs> and we, we defined our own command. This is actually the file name. Uh, management commands are defined in an app. So we actually defined an app today called content migration and you put your commands in the management slash commands directory. I don't know if that's strict or just conventional, but it's in the documentation, so I followed it. Then base command is the base class for any management command. 
And I'm not sure if this is strict or just conventional, but I think the class you, uh, you create needs to be called command in this local scope. It might be that uh, Django's gonna look for that. So I don't, I didn't really experiment uh, with other class names there. So if you are more familiar with this, uh, leave a comment and I'm, that way I can learn a little bit more about the management commands if I can customize the class name, but if not, it's not a big deal. And I actually didn't use this command error, um, although it might be useful to catch errors down the road. And the final thing we're, things we're importing here are, of course, the magazine issue because we're importing magazine issue data, but also um, every magazine issue is located in a, a tree underneath the magazine index. And the magazine index page in the, on the website just lists the latest issue and featured articles and things like that. So if you go to the website slash magazine, that's where you get, that's the gateway to all the magazine issues going back uh, many years, including uh, the archive issues, which go back to 1929. So here is a little recipe I saved for later um, regarding how to handle images. Uh, but basically you just need um, to upload um, wagtail images. Uh, essentially you just need to process an image file from a string or bytes IO. All of the images right now uh, that are coming from the old site are accessible via HTTP. So I might write, uh, work with this in the future and write a small um, somehow it would just fetch those from the server. In any case, this is just, there is a comment so I can remember and come back to it. So our command is for importing magazine issues from the Drupal website. We want it to accept one argument and that argument is file. I'm going to pass in the file path for the data with the CSV data. Um, your handle function is what is invoked to handle the command. Uh, and your argues are password, uh, passed in where the quargs would be normally, the keyword arguments. So I'm just following convention here. In the documentation, they, they use the word option, so I'm doing that as well. And first line here, we're just grabbing, there's only one instance of the magazine index page. This is actually a feature I requested, um, a way to constrain it. Uh, wagtail so that certain page types like the home page or uh, some landing pages or index pages you really only want to create one of those you only want one home page and there wasn't a clean way of really disallowing those um, you know creating uh, users from creating multiple home pages for example which could create confusion uh, but I was I opened an issue on github and within a couple of weeks I think even uh, the next release, basically, um, this max count property was added to the page class, and if this max count is pr present, uh, it'll only let you add up to that count, that number of instances of a of a page uh, type. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So that said, I know there will only be one magazine index page for that reason, and so I can just use the get method here and it, it just grabs one and it's the only one available. So now I have a reference to this magazine index page for use later. So I can add the, each magazine issue as a child of this magazine issue index page, magazine index page, sorry. So now I'm gonna open the file that's passed in via the argument as a, using the CSV library dictionary reader. And that gives me an, an iterator that I can, uh, do something with each item in. So it's essentially uh, here I'm iterating over each of the issues and um, creating an instance of the magazine issue, uh, setting the required fields, and behind the scenes it's actually generating a, a few additional fields like the slug um, automatically for me. So that was one of the things I was struggling with for a while was how to how to get to automatically generate the slug. If you just, um, when you create your page um, instance, just pass in um, the arguments in the constructor, everything works good. So that's, uh, took a while to learn, but that's the, this is the proper approach here. Uh, then the final step essentially is to add this new issue, the one we're importing as a child of the magazine index page. Again, each um, wagtail page has to be located somewhere in that hierarchy. And in doing so, um, and then saving the magazine index page, <laughs> you're kind of saving the child as well, apparently. Uh, I haven't checked the publication status of these, but if I added one of these, 
let me just double check. It's uh, public. It apparently publishes it even, so. Again, this has all been a learning journey, not very well documented, so it's been head scratching all the way. Uh, it's not been too frustrating, and there's been some good answers on Stack Overflow and some good example code, at least on GitHub, uh, to sort of get me down the road step by step by step, finally putting all together all the pictures, all the pieces, uh, and getting a, a functioning importer. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm not going to run it again because I've imported the data. I, um, it just let you know be known that it works. And this is how to define custom management commands in Django and a little bit about how to import wagtail page models. So thanks again for watching this codebuddies.org recap. If you'd like to get involved in the Code Buddies community, we're right now beginning a rewrite of the codebuddies.org platform. It's open source on GitHub at github.com slash codebuddies. If you'd like to contribute on the back end, we're working in Django or on the front end, you can contribute with React. Either of those projects welcomes both new and experienced contributors. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.